Hey, 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 Dan Alive, we're over here at Platinum Black, Huntington Beach, and look at what we have in the eye of this camera. We have the art rod prepared by Platinum Black, and guess what? This just won Best of Show at Hot Rod In-N-Out Burger 70th Celebration in Pomona on Saturday. And John, a little bit about this? Yeah, it's a 42 Ford uh, pickup with a uh, International Harvester tractor grill, flathead, uh, leather inside. Yeah. Come on, Chris, what have we got on this? Leather inside. Uh, uh, air ride suspension. Franklin quick change Franklin rear quick end. Change, rear end uh, cantilever rear suspension, 36 drums and uh, brakes. What else? A 5960 Chevrolet Dash interior. Many, many modifications, engineering. Chris worked hours and hours and hours to make this happen. If you want to go around, I'll look in the back. Yeah, yeah, let's take a look. There's so many things to look at that uh, takes a while just to see exactly uh, what was accomplished with this. I, I see uh, Ed Brock heads on the flatty. Yeah, inside. Yeah. Real hot rod, as I'd say, three pedals, pulling yeah, gears. Five speed. Five speed. Look at that dash, yep. You said 59 or 60 Chevy? Dash. 60. 60, okay. Yeah, how cool is that? Yeah, it's real low. I'd have a hard time getting out of it. Yeah, me yeah. too. And with about, probably about a 12 gallon fuel tank. Yeah. Quick rear end. The tail lights are from an early Dodge. It took us about a week just to fab those up. These are early Dodge. You know, they light up here and on the bottom, and then bullets on the back, machined uh, aluminum, so you can't see anything holding everything together. And the Dodge came with these little uh, wings on there, so it was wow. pretty cool for the uh, for the build. Yeah, and I like the Firestones with the steel wheels and the color combo is just yeah. You know, we get a lot of compliments on the color. It took us a couple of weeks of standing out in the parking lot with the books just to come up with something uh, a little different that all went together. It's almost like root beer, huh? Yeah, kind of, yeah, it's, it's a brown, what is it, it's called brown metallic or something. Anyway, yeah, yeah beaver brown metallic, that's what we named it. And uh, how long did you guys uh, Five spend? months. Five months. Yeah. Five months, and I know it wasn't uh, an everyday project, you, right. you worked on it when you could. This was an after hours project. Uh, Weekend, Saturdays and Sundays, twelve hours, and uh, uh, yeah. Once Chris gets into it, he, he doesn't let go until yeah. it's friggin' done. So I think we still have a couple of little things. We just have John Bonsai machining for the inside. We didn't get a chance to do before the show, but uh, that's about it. Yeah, it's a beautiful piece. When we saw it at uh, Cruiser for the Cure, I was like, "In wow!" As everybody, most everybody that takes a look at this. And the name of it, you know, the art rod. We stole the name from our poster, Gabe Corona. He said, man, that's not a rat rod, that's not a hot rod. That looks like an art rod. Wow. So I said, yeah. can I have that name? He said, sure. So yeah. that's how we uh, came up with that. You may uh, start a new trend. Yeah. You know, rat rods are cool, but you know, now you can still make a rat rod, but make it real nice and call it an art rod. And there it is. That's all the... 70s reunion, all the details right there. Very, very, very nice. Well, there you have it. Dan on Live, HB Car Culture in Huntington Beach at Platinum Back. You see the best of show, the 70th Hot Rod In and Out Burger celebration from Saturday in Pomona at the LA Fairplex. Thanks, John.